don't have a religious background, nor do I have the health background. But I said, my Lord, after uh, this and after some of the things that we've watched, uh, anybody would be foolish not to come here and get uh, an education. I've never had a real good detox. <laughs> And that's what I was looking for. Last night I had a pill in my mouth, an Oxycontin. And took it out of my mouth and got on my knees and prayed. You know, when I teach people about the Bible, I teach them that God also has a health message. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, having these precious promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. You see, I see a parallel between the plan of salvation and the health message. In the plan of salvation in 1 John 1 9 it says if we confess our sins he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Bible also tells us in Titus 3 5 not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit. And so there's a cleansing and a regeneration that takes place in us on a moral, spiritual nature. Likewise, when it comes to health and healing, I believe that we must cleanse the body, specifically the seven elimination organs of the body. And also, the cleansing must precede the rebuilding and the regeneration. So at Bella Vida, we do an intense therapeutic 10-day cleansing program while feeding the guests the best what I call the high octane food of the earth. We give them all living organic food. There's no cooked food, it's all live juices. We give them dandelion greens. We use red chard. We're using organic Fuji apples, organic carrots, organic celery, organic parsley, because we believe that the blood of the plant can build red blood in human beings. Well, personally, I'm looking for to learn a lot of information in regards to how to make my life even healthier than what it is now. Not only physically, but spiritually too. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Well, one of the things that I came here for was I want to leave here with a sparkle in my eye and a spring in my step. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So I hope that God and uh, Danny help me to restore, make a restoration in my body, uh, physically and mentally, you know. Now, how old are you? 86. Our goal is to recharge your life force, which is your electrical current of the body. I want you beaming. So there's a cleansing and there's a renewing. The blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Now parallel that to healing. We must cleanse the body and the blood and rebuild and regenerate the cells. The same process that I think of 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things pass away, behold, all things become new. I'll show you a presentation where your whole body rebuilds itself in less than two years. So you can have a new liver in six months, you can have new stomach lining in five days. We take a, a black powder that you're gonna get. The purpose of this is to absorb poison, toxins, heavy metals, drug residues, pesticides. When I was working in the health food store, there was a farmer who came in and raised cows. He would buy six bottles of bentonite clay, so he'd have calves that were born toxic that were gonna die. And he'd take a meat baster, and he'd suck up this clay water, and he'd squirt it down their throats. It would absorb the toxins and the poisons, and they would live. And I said, if they can do that to the cow, why can't they do it to us? And we're toxic, we're breathing exhaust fumes, we're putting chemicals on our body. We work with Clorox and Ajax and Comet, and we spray perfumes and deodorizers and put lipstick and chemicals all over our body. So we're constantly, you know, 
polluting ourselves. So we need to pull these out of the system. Now, the charcoal can absorb many times its weight in toxic matter, and I make a poultice out of this. Now, this is going to swell up, but you're drinking it while it's liquid form. But see what happens? This is what it's going to do inside of you. If you had a black widow bite on your hand right here, you can put this on like this, and you cover it with a bandage and plastic. And it's going to draw. I've had people at Bella Vita with a red line running up their leg, put a poultice on their toe where there's an infection. And <laughs> they, um. Oh, yeah, you missed it. Could you do it? And what happens? It pulls the red line out of the blood. So, what's it going to do when I pack your intestines with this? five times a day and get it to fill the large intestine and swell. <laughs> You're going to be fasting for f just juices. And I got people that do not pass black stools until Thursday. They're brown. So what does that mean? That it's, it's in there too long. That it's old stuff, right? <laughs> it's old stuff because it should be black, right? right? So they go, why isn't mine black yet? <laughs> I said, because you must have had about 20 pounds of feces in you. All right. The yeah. FDA says that a standard American male can have five to 22 pounds of feces in him on a given day. The medical profession says that constipation is less than three bowel movements a week now. So really? normal wow. is three to five a week is still considered normal bowel function. Wow. In a country that is filled with diverticulitis, appendicitis, polyps, ulcerative colitis, colon cancer, and a number of other diseases. Does that mean take mercury and copper? Which this are? absorbs heavy metals. We're going to take different laws, which we call the laws, God's natural doctors like fresh air and sunshine and, and water, and implement them in our healing program. So I want to take you now on a little journey of Bella Vida and what a day would be like. Now, first thing in the morning, we wake we wake up each guest. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here, follow me. We're going to take vitals. Okay. Now, we first take their blood pressure, and we do this for the duration of the 10 days. So your blood pressure is at 135 or 77. No, but I don't know. One hundred and twenty-nine. And then when they join us at the table, we begin our cleansing program. Most of them will take an isotonic beverage. That's one-third ocean water and two-thirds fresh water. Now we have about 15 guests in this session, so we will be using about approximately two gallons of seawater. Now about 15 minutes after they have drank this mixture, they are getting up and running to the bathroom because it is flushing through them like a waterfall. And then we send them off and they do a coffee enema. Coffee enema dilates the bile duct and allows the liver, which is handling an excess of toxins that are pouring out of the system and from the cells, to dump itself in about 12 to 15 minutes. I think with these coffee enemas, it's assisting, in, I haven't had a headache from an, o an overload of right. release of toxins. No healing system. reaction. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a coffee in with Starbucks coffee. I'll let you know how everything comes out. Here we are in the kitchen preparing the poultice drink that we drink five times a day for the first five days here at Bella Vita. Now what we use is apple juice as well as psyllium husk and our bowel formula number two mixture. And within this mixture, we have bentonite clay, we have charcoal, we have psyllium seed, we have apple pectin, as well as we have marshmallow root. So what it's going to do is it's going to swell within your intestines and is going to cleanse over 3,000 known drugs, toxins, chemicals within your body. Not only that, but it's going to loosen the mucus lining in your intestines, known as the mucoviscidosis. Now the reason why we give this drink five times a day for the first five days is we want it to pack 
the intestines because this is the agent that is really going to sweep the intestinal tract. And the guests see this. It comes out, it's black, some have ropes, some see the mucus um, just passing through the intestines. And it's amazing what comes out. You know, we had this one lady and she came to us and she said, my God, you wouldn't believe it. She said, there's a crayon in my toilet. She said, I haven't touched a crayon since I was a little kid. She pulled out the crayon and she took it home. Now once we have it stirred up here, we will pour it and then pass it to our guests. Then about a couple hours later, we give them an herb drink that has a number of herbs that are specially formulated that are customized to cleanse all the elimination organs of the body. We also bring a detox tea into the program. And this detox tea is a blend of herbs that does a gentle cleansing of all seven elimination channels. Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm one of the staff members here. And every morning at nine o'clock, we prepare a fresh juice for our guests. And it consists of fresh apples, organic, which we will cut up in juice. And we also add a product called Supermana. We also add ground, these are golden flax seeds, and we add one tablespoon per drink. And then we also add one tablespoon of flaxseed oil, organic. It's very high in omega-3s. So I'm gonna wash the apples, and then I will get them juiced. They drink this to recharge now, to feed their cells, and we're giving it to them in a liquid form with even single-celled nutrients like chlorella and spirulina because we want it to assimilate into their cells where life begins. Cheers. One pound of wheatgrass juiced is equal to 25 pounds of the choicest vegetables. That's some pretty powerful stuff. I had cancer five years ago and it was right when I became vegan as soon as I was diagnosed and um, wasn't juicing yet, but God told me every day that you go for your radiation, I want you to stop at Jamba Juice and get two ounces really? of their, of their um, wheatgrass. wheatgrass and drink their carrot juice. And so I did it every day and my blood work has always been great. We take them outside now under the eucalyptus tree and we do deep breathing exercises, stretching exercises, before we go on a two to four mile walk and then take them on a weight-bearing routine to build their bone density. I think anaerobic weightlifting is one of the best things you can do because it isolates the muscles specifically. You can work your triceps, you can work your traps, you can work your lats, you can work your pecs, and it's just wonderful because you tone up each muscle group. 15 times, okay? Yep. And then when they come inside, I give another lesson study on natural hygiene teaching them that disease is remedial. Natural hygiene in a nutshell is not just shampooing your hair and washing your body on the outside, but we're gonna learn how to wash our body on the inside. We take them from the sauna into the showers to, to have a contrast of hot and cold, hot and cold, while teaching them the importance of skin brushing. How's it going? Good. Are you ready? Yes to get invigorated. I love the heat and then the splash of cold. John, we're gonna be doing the cold sheet treatment on you now. And we're gonna be adding a muslin bag of herbs here that have cayenne, ginger, and mustard powder. They're very hot herbs because we're gonna increase the temperature of the water. So it's not only gonna be hot because we're running nice hot water, it's also gonna be hot because of the herbs we're adding in here. And the goal is to really get your body temperature up. Because when we increase your body temperature, what's called leukotaxis, every degree that it rises, like 100 to 101, is really gonna multiply the white blood cells. And those white blood cells are gonna to go to destroy bacteria and viruses mm -hmm. and invaders within your body. We're also gonna be giving you a couple cups of tea. This tea is hyssop and yarrow. You can also use ginger and peppermint, and, and they're diaphoretic. They're gonna cause you to heat up more. So we're gonna use this as a cleansing program, but also to increase your immune function. We're gonna check your temperature. We're gonna keep cool rags on your head. And then about 20 minutes after we get your temperature up, 
we're going to um, get you out of here gently and we're going to take a sheet that's soaking in ice water and ice cubes and we're going to wrap it around you and that's why it's called a cold sheet treatment and it's going to cause an extreme contrast in temperature which is a very powerful effect again to stimulate an immune response we're going to lay you down on a, a bed over here and we're going to cover you with a number of blankets we're going to hydrate you with water that's where the immune system is stimulated the most and during that time i find that many people want to talk sometimes they'll speak about things that are hurting them things that have happened that are they're holding on to memories and pains and and some ugly stuff might come out but it's your time and we're just going to let you speak you know the lord has been putting a lot of people in my path similar not exactly the same, but similar for the last 20 years. I am very tired. I'm very worn out. Looking forward to uh, the next day and the next day. I feel really good then. We've even used hydrotherapy treatments for applications of hot and cold fomentations to the lungs of somebody that has lung congestion. See how steamy that is? And the point of this is to get a beet red. See how it's getting red right now? And you don't have to do the friction rub for a long, long time. You want to just get the cold here in her lung area or her chest where she's congested. Another thing to break up mucus in the lungs that I thought about for her is lobelia. And we have some lobelia tincture here and I, I want to give her some of that. Let's see if that's too hot. Well, what I'm doing is taking just some pure eucalyptus essential oil and I've actually brought it to a boil on the stove. Steam vapors coming up so she can breathe them deep into her lungs. She's having some lung congestion. How are you feeling, Cheryl? Well, I'm, just, I'm still tired, uh, but I feel very peaceful. And last night after the cold sheet treatment, which was wonderful, I uh, was able to cough up a bunch of mucus that was stuck in my lungs no and pus and my uh, bladder urinary bleeding stopped and um, I'm just uh, very much at peace today. Amazing, thank God. Yeah, you know, yes, it was wonderful. I'm feeling good, kinda, uh, how should I say, uh, coated tongue, because I feel like the bowels and all that stuff, these cords kind of brownish black you know very interesting see what happens today this is really a good program better than I've I thought. Hated it for a I'm so happy to see your response this morning and it's just our second morning of doing this program we've really only did 24 hours of program and this is what I love about Bella Vita is is that it's intense, but God sent the right people to be sponges. You guys are sucking it up. That when Jesus was tempted, he ate nothing. And the temptation in the wilderness, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights before he met with the devil. He was hungry, but he was engaging in the greatest temptation for the sake of the salvation of all mankind. And he had to overcome, and he did overcome, but he did it fasting. Because when I fast, it's so much easier for me not to fall into temptation. You can emphasize Danny's message even more. Don't you think so? What he's saying, I think, is... I mean, that's what I believe in, that's why I changed my way of eating. <laughs> But I do will say one thing about these hands is that they have their good days and bad days. And that something, you know, some are really bad. Arthritic, you mean? Yeah, arthritically. Osteoarthritis. My arthritis is so much better. I can't believe it. During prayer, Danny was massaging him. I have been able, I go to mass massage therapy, and I say, don't touch my hands. They hurt so bad. And today, they're like soft. They're wonderful. I am cleaning 
these beautiful greens. This is our green juice as array of vegetables. We have chard, we have celery, as well as dandelion greens and beets. We also threw some ginger in here. It's a great COX-2 inhibitor that helps with pain and inflammation. Here you go, John. We have your four o'clock juice for you. Wow, what service. That's fantastic stuff. Could I have another? So the tobacco industry hires pretty faces. And she's smoking a cigar, and they're trying to make this vogue or fad in the United States for women to smoke cigars, even though we can prove that lung cancer mortality increases with the number of cigarettes that you smoke each day. And this guy comes in with lung cancer. And I was getting something out of my file cabinet, and I said, have a seat. And I went, it's not cigarettes. And I looked at him, and I said, lung cancer. I said, you smoke? And he's got, he's sporting a pack of Marlboro that I can see the words <laughs> through his white t-shirt. Made sure he had them there when he walked in to see me and he goes, yeah, I smoke and I'm not quitting. I said, then I'm not going to see you. Bye. What? That's not a Christian thing to do. And I said, you know, have you ever heard of cause and effect? Could you read me what it says on the side of your pack of cigarettes? Cigarette smoking causes lung cancer, and you're not going to quit. I said, so what, how, how am I supposed to help you? Thank you. Tell me, just tell me. And he says, well, then I guess I, you won't see me, will you? And I said, so you want me to give you some magic potion that's going to heal your lungs while you choke them to death with carbon monoxide and 3,000 other chemicals? And I said, you know, before you go, though, I do want to say this. Do you believe in the Ten Commandments? And he goes, yeah. I said, do you know what the Sixth Commandment says? No, oh, no, I really don't think I do. And I said, thou shalt not kill. He goes, I never thought of it that way. I said, why are you killing yourself? He says, so right on the side of your cigarettes. He says, you Christians, you're not free. And I said, why? And he says, well, you can't smoke and you can't drink. And I said, you know what? Give me one of your cigarettes. And he says, what? And I said, give me one of your cigarettes. And he gave me a cigarette and I put it in my mouth. I said, give me your lighter. And he goes, oh, this should be interesting. And I said, give me your lighter. <laughs> and I flicked on the flame. I put it up to the cigarette and I was just like an inch away. And I said, let me, let me explain something to you about freedom. I said, you know, I can light this cigarette right now, guy. You quit right now. <laughs> I said, who's free? He goes, I've never thought of it that way. See, I don't eat animal protein. I don't eat animal fat because I know what it can do to the body and to the heart and to the circulatory system and to my blood pressure and to my weight and everything else. And I don't drink alcohol because I know it damages my liver and it damages my brain cells. It's very addicting. It's fermented. You know, it robs key nutrients out of the body. I don't smoke cigarettes because I know that it chokes off the oxygen, that it's addictive, that the, 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 the tobacco industries deliberately make it an addictive product. And I don't do it. And I'm free. And he's a slave to tobacco. Quit right now, free man. He goes, oh my God, I am, I'm an addict. I was a heavy smoker, you know. That. I tried, I want to quit for myself, without God, without anybody, without doctors, you know. I tried two years, I don't smoke, I don't drink. Then after, like on Oktoberfest, I remember he gave me a mass of beer, and I drink, <laughs> I started smoking again. Till the Lord came in my heart. My, my, my grandfather already prayed for me, he says, someday, somehow, God catch you but accept it and he make you free. The Lord said, you don't need to pay me money. You don't need to take bills or anything. Just believe in me, believe. I make you free, free everything, free. And I believe in God, you know, God make a miracle. How's it going? What do you mean, how's it going? 
I haven't had anything to eat for three days now. I feel great. My skin has become softer because I think I'm hydrating properly. When I first got here, I haven't been able to walk since February because of my foot, and I walked four miles yesterday. Blood pressure's down a little bit. Yeah. My pants are about to fall off. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet's full. <laughs> Things are working. Yeah! You like it, Valmonts, huh? <laughs> well, I think that cement came out. I heard a <laughs> big old splat. Here's the motto of Bella Vida. Live your yes. teaching. Walk your talk. Live your teaching just as Jesus did. So God may use your disease as a blessing. Natural healers also say disease is caused from imbalance. You're out of balance with nature. So how do you get back in balance with nature? Fresh air, sunshine, eating the things that grow in the soil. Without pesticides and chemicals, you become one with nature. You were created from the soil, so eat the things that grow in the soil. You are not gonna get the phytochemicals that you need by eating chicken breast that's enlarged due to chemicals like estrogen so you're getting birds that are dipped in a chill tank where they absorb eight to ten percent of their weight that you pay for in a grocery store from the poisons and the filth from the chill tank absorbed into their tissues and a hundred million chickens in 1967 are dying of blood cancer and then they're feeding antibiotics to them and they're only two to four weeks old anyway because they're fed on all these hormones. And, and one year in Lodi, California, in the newspaper, it said that the turkeys for Thanksgiving were collapsing and their legs couldn't hold up their bodies any longer because their breasts were too big. Going on a walk, man. Up a four, I guess. You want to talk about diet therapy? Here, here's the grocery list for one week on the Gerson program. You want to hear what it is? <laughs> Carrots, 50 pounds. Tomatoes, 10 to 15 pounds. Potatoes, 25 pounds. Onions, 20 a week. Apples, 40 pounds. Oranges, 15 pounds. Garlic, one bowl. Coffee, 3 to 5 pounds. Distilled water, 15 gallons, one week. Ooh, one, <laughs> one week for one person and 50 cases of success of is that for one Ill person that's one person 50 cases of success with terminally ill cancer patients you and guide therapy yesterday was my highlight i had seven eliminations yesterday it was wonderful because my stomach became softer from all the purges and uh, I was able to walk two miles. But the stool movement, I have never had one every day. Now I'm having one every day. Um, it's a wonderful experience. Once I went to the health crusade and what inspired me to come here was I heard that uh, there was a young man who overcame Oxycontin addiction on here. I've been on Oxycontin high, high doses for about 12 years. And God has really just been asking me to get clear of it, free of it, so that I can hear his still small voice. And here it is day four, I went from 15 to 16 or more Oxycontin a day. Yesterday I have two, and today I have, have none, and I feel pretty amazing. I'm so excited that I'm going to write my health tip for the day on Facebook and I'm going to talk about Doug's victory over Oxycontin and these painkillers that he's been on for 12 years. I can't believe the amount of Oxycontin he was taking and that here this man is like happy and whistling and, and healthy and his face is glowing, he's, he's walking four miles and it's a miracle and I'm just happy because at Bella Vida I see these miracles and it just makes me praise the Lord. Mile mark. 
Yeah. When I cleaned up um, Doug's Doug's cold sheet, there's a yeah. white sheet that's down, and I could see his body image, where his legs were, his trunk, and his arms. I wonder if it wasn't the nicotine and uh, the toxins. Come, yeah. Seventh day Sabbath, I believe, it existed before sin, and it's going to be throughout eternity. And I think that when you obey it, there is a great healing blessing in it for all of you. All right. Hi, I'm Daniel, and we are here in the kitchen of Bella Vita with my lovely sisters Mia as well Hi. as Talia. Hi. And we will be preparing for you our liver gallbladder flesh. It's 12 ounces of lemon juice, and then we also have 6 ounces of olive oil, 16 cloves of garlic. And this flesh is designed to purge the liver of toxins and poisons that are built up within the organ. Today's day five, it's Friday here at Bella Vita. And my friend Richard here started with blood pressure of 174 over 73. And today it's 156 over 67. I feel better. I've lost five pounds. I really feel better for that part. I don't think I could have accomplished. There's no way we could have accomplished what I've accomplished in five days with any other program. So I'm real pleased. 129 over 54. Wow. Oh. On Monday, his blood pressure was 146 over 73. And today it's 129 over 54. Okay, uh, today is the fifth day. I feel wonderful. And uh, everything go according to the plan and Thank the God that everything will better. And I feel much, much better than before. Praise the Lord for that. When I first came here, my blood pressure was 146 over 98. And today it is 131 over 84, and I'm pleased as punch. I feel denied. I keep watching my partner there and his food plate is causing yeah, tension and apprehension. I went to five doctors and uh, they described it as I did, mushy, a mushy swelling. It's just real soft. I have a hope. This has been my biggest improvement. The guests also enjoy the live food demonstrations at Bella Vita. Thank you for our guests. Thank you for the testimonies. Yeah. 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 Crystal, this is the last boy. Thank you. Consultation, yeah. Okay. Homegrown. And the biggest relief is why you don't see it in my face is I had abdominal pain so bad, and it's gone. Gone? I have abdominal pain. My stomach. When you back. came, yeah. remember? I said, just go on the program. Just relax. Go on the program. Yeah, and I would have stomach spasms. It, would, my, it goes up, comes down. My rib cage was unbelievable. Yeah, Getting yeah. rid of the abdominal pain was my number. So, abdominal pain, your ankles don't hurt. Your arthritis is calm way down. Your energy level. You get rid of the high five. High five. And you know what else? I couldn't high five with my right hand. I, I used to high five with my left. <laughs> I was sharing with Danny on our walk here this morning. Oh, last night I had a pill in my mouth, an Oxycontin. And took it out of my mouth and out of my knees and prayed. I claim the scripture that says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you and Satan will flee from you. Oh, man. <laughs> pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, Doug. I'm free! My testimony. My dad and I were sitting right by the fireplace, and it was probably 10 o'clock, we were going to sleep. And we're laying there. I cannot fall asleep for anything. 
I mean, I was just wrestling and I'd close my eyes. For some reason, I wanted to open my eyes again. So I opened my eyes and looking at our front door, if you've been in our house, we have the big French doors, bright lights just started beaming from that front door. And you saw rows of tall beans with, it looked like halos, just bright heads. It was kind of blurry, so I couldn't really tell what they were at first. And they just filed down the hallway, turned around, and filed straight back out. They didn't open the doors, they didn't touch any door handles. And they were probably to the railing in our house. And this peace came upon me that I've never felt before. And I closed my eyes and I completely went to sleep. So that just kind of shows me that there's this peace in this house. In that house, and there's this peace on this property. And God is here. Last time we had a worship uh, Sabbath, <clears throat> and Danny said something about if you're three percent for Satan, you're all for Satan and not for God. And that really struck me because I've been holding back my, my breakthrough medication just in case it got too rough. I hadn't taken anything. I still kept that as like a backup. And last night I just gave it all away and surrendered all, which is a song that I picked that you sang last night. And I feel great this morning. So the Lord is good. I felt God calling me for years. And I've wanted to answer that call. And I've tried so many times to answer that call. And to have this victory now is a testimony to my Savior and my Christ. He died for me, and I want to die for him. By the power given unto me through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and this man's rededication to Jesus completely, 100% surrendering his life, his drugs, his addictions, he wants to lay himself in this watery grave and to come up in newness of life. So I pray that you know and baptize him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the morning, I like to eat rainbows. I like to eat lots of colors. Make sure you look at your, your ingredient list that you're getting organic and you're getting whole apples. I'll add myself a couple bananas, okay? A handful of organic flame seedless grapes here, some organic strawberries, some organic oranges, okay, high in vitamin C, a few nuts. Here's some walnuts that are good for the heart, the pumpkin seed that's good for the prostate, okay. You have the uh, almonds, the king of the nuts. It's very high in protein. I also then take Barleen's high lignin flaxseed oil. These are very high in omega-3 fatty acids. So this is great for the skin. It's great to balance hormones as a preventative for cancers, including breast cancers. It causes the cells to attract oxygen like a magnet and people don't realize it. It's very important for the immune system and the whole reproductive system of women. Now we've been on a cleanse, so I'm even throwing in some powdered acidophilus to reculture the bacteria in the body. So rich ground, just ground these flax seeds. And I'll throw in a couple scoops of the superman. That's what still up. Thank you for this living food to recharge us now. These bio photons, these enzymes. Amazing. This is delicious. Amazing. We're dumb. So at Bella Vita, we serve only live food, and we understand that with the biophotons within the food today, that they can measure these rays of light coming out of living food. You know, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Isaiah 60, verse 1, that says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee.
When I look at that word risen, it means radiating beams of light. That here are these people that are shining, as it were. Their faces are lit up with the glory because they're reflecting His glory. God wants to restore us completely. Positive mental attitude's important. Her eyes were sunken in with these deep black around her eyes. And I said, your eyes, your face. She says, well, I am bleeding vaginally and I have uterine oh. cancer. Oh. What would make your heart sing right now? And you know what she said to me? You wouldn't believe it. I'd love to go make mud patties with your daughter Tally outside. Oh. And then when we walked outside, here's the one who's the black under her eyes, and I go like this, you're it. I took off running. <sighs> She's chasing me. <laughs> She's chasing me. <laughs> so we're running through the, the mud, around the plum tree, the peach tree. She's chasing me, and there's mud puddles everywhere. She hits the dirt, she flies all around, and mud all over her face. <laughs> laughing. So I sat her down and said, here's Talia. They stayed out there for, I don't know, two hours. Little patties of mud. She was having fun. Three days, all bleeding stopped, and Bella Vita Guest saw some miracle. The black around her eyes gone in four days. Wow. George's father this morning just passed a worm that it's anywhere from three to six feet long. Who knows if you pulled it out of the toilet, but it was wrapped all around this the psyllium that we've been giving them and it was distinct. We used custom formulas of herbs called Paratox with black walnut and wormwood and other fabulous herbs that, that kill parasites and it works fast. Here you go. <laughs> I can't believe it! Hi, this is Cheryl on day eight. And you know, I was noticing one thing that I wasn't thinking about before, but I had migraines all of the time. In fact, I had a migraine on the day that we came here on day one. And I have not had a single one since I came. And I'm really, really glad for that. I feel fantastic. The date's the, what's the date? This is the eighth day of uh, cleansing. I have cleaned out. I feel the best since I've been here. And it's like the best Monday morning I've had here. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable, God, it's so good. And it all happens through love. And this place is blessed. And it's love and not condemnation. Okay. It's God's love that works miracles. I'm evidence of that. Today's the first day of four miles. How'd it feel? Wonderful. I'm breaking it in. <laughs> so, tell me what some of the eight laws of health are. Nutrition. Sunlight. Exercise. Sunlight. Water. Sunlight. Exercise. Temperance. Spiritual. What did we learn about God's precious promises? Anybody? When you put it all together, everything we do, the miracles happen. Tumors shrink. You know, I had a lady here, I went like this on her back, and there was a tumor filled my hand. And I go, what is this? And she said, that's part of the reason why I'm here. And so every day I'd reach over and I'd feel it. And I'd massage it, I'd palpitate it. And on day five, it was gone. You and notes? I'm making banana ice cream. What do you think, Daryl? No, this is right over there. <laughs> <laughs> This is our graduation time, and we have your diplomas. And it's also a special time of sharing, because it's going to be our last evening together. Well, I've been to, this is my fourth um, lifestyle type center or cleansing experience that I've had. The first one with Bella Vida, and Bella Vida has definitely been by far the best experience that I've had. When I came, as I told Danny before, I wasn't 
anticipating as much teaching, I don't know what to expect. Now I know. And the teaching is extremely important. I mean, I uh, don't have the religious background, nor do I have the health background. But I said, oh, my Lord. After uh, this, and after some of the things that we've watched, uh, anybody would be foolish not to come here and get uh, an education. That's the most important thing to me. The cleansing is very important. Everything that we did is very important, but the education is awesome. I've never had a real good detox. <laughs> and that's what I was looking for. And when I came here, I could hardly breathe or walk. My stomach was in my chest. This place is just amazing. I cannot put into words what this program is and what it's done for me. Uh, it's from D to Z. It's everything. But the topper, besides being educated about all the things that God's given us and how we're supposed to live, the spiritual portion is how we've gotten through this program. It is such a rounded program that nobody else has. Um, the spiritual is, is number one. But God has a plan and I have a vision that he's given me to take what I've learned and expound on that. It has opened up a new chapter in my life to move forward because I had this fear, but I shed that. Um, last night also. So we can now be beacons of light. This program has changed my life. And it's given me my life back. Mm -hmm. And it's given me a whole new perspective on my relationship with my Savior. The love that I have for all of you. And for myself, finally, for the first time in years. the best of all that I think I've ever done. <laughs>
But through the power of his Holy Spirit, there was a great change that happened in my life. And, uh, you know, I was an ex-bodybuilder. I loved to work out. You know, I was in competition. And I've always loved health. But when the Lord brought me to that health food store next to a book and Bible house, he began to teach me not only about health principles, but also about his son, Jesus Christ. And when I got the two together, doors started opening up like you'd never believe. Television, radio, infomercials, you know, so many different people we've, we've reached over the years with this entering wedge. I, I'm, I'm just so grateful that God led me to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I'm so grateful that God brought me to this light and health that with the passion that he's put within me as a A-type personality, Italian, <laughs> very passionate, I want to go out and save the world. I want to go out and affect as many lives as I possibly can. Can you turn the volume up just a bit so I don't have to use my voice so much? Thanks. You know, I want to show you something tonight in the Word of God in Matthew. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 4. And verse 23, it says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. So I see a trifold ministry that the Lord had, right? It says he was teaching, he was preaching, and he was healing. Isn't that powerful? And it says as a result of this, and I believe a big part of it was healing, it says, and his fame, verse 24, went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people, all sick people that were taken with divers diseases, or various diseases, and torments, and those that were possessed with devils, those that were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. So, I could look at that verse and say they were bringing those to him that had physical, mental, and spiritual disease. See, that's the beauty of our message. God has given us, as a church, not only a message of salvation through Christ's grace, but also a great message of healing the sick. And he's given us blueprint. He's given us a lot of instruction. If you go back into the history of our health message and our health movement, you'll find that the simple natural therapies that we were using back in the early days through John Harvey Kellogg and through others. If you look in the Word of God, you know, I made a national infomercial, and it's what you would call a blockbuster. They sold a million bottles. And in that infomercial, I was very pleased because I opened up the Word of God and I talked about Captain Naaman dipping in the water seven times. That's a great illustration of hydrotherapy, isn't it? Jesus put the clay to the blind man's eyes. There was a poultice, and clay poultices have the ability to draw out a lot of toxic matter. The clay can hold 40 times its weight in toxic matter. You look at the simple diet of Daniel, in Babylon. It was a very cleansing, rebuilding, regenerating vegan diet, wasn't it? So you look at these different stories. Nebuchadnezzar was driven into the wild and ate grass for seven years. You study out the value of wheatgrass and barley grass and alfalfa grass. You look at the, the wheat grass as it's a detergent to the bloodstream. It contains superoxide dismutase. It's good for healing. It's good for cancer, it's good for purification, it's good for anemia. So you look at these different natural remedies, right, in the Bible, and I find, you know, Hezekiah put a, a fig poultice to a pussy sore. He was instructed to do that, and it drew out the purulent matter, the infection. So in the Bible, you see fig poultices and green grasses and 
vegan diet and clay and water therapy. Isn't that powerful? It's all in the word of God. And this was the blueprint that God had given to our church to use the simple products of the earth to educate people in the eight laws of health, to teach them that in order to heal the body of disease, we must ascertain the cause and remove it. And so through health education, the world has becoming enlightened. And I'd like to say that through this weekend, my purpose of being here is I have many reasons of being here. I want to touch your life in a way that maybe you need motivation because right now you can't get off the sugar. You can't get into the habit of exercising. You can't leave the food alone. Maybe you have a precancerous, you know, diagnosis that if you don't do something and do it fast, you're going to end up with cancer. Maybe you've just been told that you're pre-diabetic. Maybe you have the beginning stages of heart disease. But there's many things you're going to learn this weekend about prevention and reversing disease. You're going to learn this weekend also about the value of cleansing and detoxification. You're going to learn this weekend about the value of herbal medicine. You're going to see a number of the different ways that we heal people through God's power at Bella Vida Lifestyle Center, and I, and I tell people all the time, when you come to Bella Vida, so many people are there for different diseases. So many people are there are emotionally hurting. So many people who come have their origin of their disease that's beginning in their mind because of unforgiveness, because of bitterness, because of anger, because of other things. We call them emotional toxins. We have many people that come to Bella Vida, many Seventh-day Adventists, been Seventh-day Adventists all their life, and they don't have a relationship with Jesus. They don't know Jesus. And so they're there because they're sick physically. They're there because they're broken emotionally. They're there because they're spiritually starving. So at the Lifestyle Center, as you've seen, people come with a number of different ailments. And we've seen transformations. We've seen cancer healed, MS healed. We've seen people with diabetes regularly, regularly improve. People with high cholesterol, people with high blood pressure. Imagine lowering blood pressure using seawater high in sodium. We watch it happen all the time. We got people that can't walk into the house without using a walker, walking four miles in four or five days. We see people become alive. I have a new respect for the word quickened by the Holy Spirit, not only on a spiritual plane, but also on a physical one as well. So if you're wanting to have life and life more abundantly, try something. Be obedient to God's Ten Commandments. Be obedient to his laws of health at the same time. And say, you know, today's the day. This is the weekend that I'm going to make that decision to do what God has asked me to do and take care of my body temple the way that God has asked. This is a good patient right here. I talked to him the other day about his artificial knee and the pain and the inflammation that he's having. And what did I suggest you go do? Use a, a wrap on it with uh, castor oil. And what, use a wrap with castor oil that's good for pain and inflammation. And I advise a different type of exercise. Tell us. Bicycle. Bicycle. Did you do that? Five miles today. Five miles today. Praise God. He's doing it. Five miles. Did it hurt your knee? Not really. Took the pressure off, right? The impact from jogging and walking. He's pedaling. Five miles. Great job. So when you come to Bella Vida, we get you bicycling. We get you walking. We get you stretching. We get you deep breathing. We cleanse the colon, the liver, the kidneys, the lungs. You're in the sauna sweating, doing skin brushing. 
You're working out in the fitness center. You're eating all live foods. You're detoxifying your body with herbs, with seawater flushes, with gallbladder cleanses. And we see transformations usually not in 10 days, but five days. And it's a spirit-filled program using the Bible as our instruction manual. Isn't that beautiful? It makes you want to come, huh? You know, I did week of prayer at Monterey Bay Academy, and I saw a miracle happen. At Monterey Bay Academy, here they are, all the academy students, and I came in, I showed that movie. That movie. And there were so many kids in the, in the room. And when I was done, I was impressed to say something, and I said this. You know, I feel impressed to take two volunteers from the academy to come assist me at Bella Vita Lifestyle Center. Do I have anyone interested? And I saw this mob of youth come down and surround me. And they're writing their names down. They ripped out a piece of paper, and every line was full on the front and the back. There was 50 at least names on the paper, and I asked for two. And the principal, who was Ellen G. White's great-great-grandson, Tim Kubrock, was standing there staring because the bell rang and these kids weren't leaving. And he said, this is the moving of the Holy Spirit. I've never seen anything like it, and it's happened because you told them the truth. Isn't that powerful? Youth, an army of youth, Ellen White says, to take this health message and see how quickly the breath of life would return to these churches. So I've come with my son, who's grown up in the health work, and I'm here to give you the best that I have to motivate you, to answer your questions, to pray with you, to teach you the health message. And, and many of you know it. You know it, but I pray that the way that it has been laid out here in my presentations is just going to do something miraculous. It's going to say, you know, today's the day that I make the changes for the rest of my life. Today's the day that I begin to live the teaching that God has brought to this church. The most powerful educator I find in my work isn't my head knowledge. It's not the theory. It's the application. It's living my teaching. That's the greatest teacher is people see you and they say, this guy looks healthy, you know? And, and it's important because I believe that the best way to sell a product is to show the value of it. And what better way to show the value of the health message is to live it in your own life. I mean, I'm a few weeks away from 63 years old. I get down, I do 60 push-ups. I feel great. I play ball with 20-year-olds. And I'm just thankful that when you... Practice Dr. Sunshine and Dr. Fresh Air, right? Dr. Exercise. And you make this important in your life. This is part of your routine. It is priority. It's priority because we need to get in the best shape of our lives because there's a war coming, and I want to be a good, faithful soldier, and I want to get myself in the big, best condition as possible because I, there's a war on, and I know that if I don't take care of my physical body the way that I should, guess what? The clarity of my mind isn't where it should be either. And if I'm going to be fighting supernatural powers, principalities and powers, wickedness in high places, that if the devil's coming through lying wonders and, and miracles, false healings and, and teachings, and, and, and if he's trying to deceive the very elect, don't you think that we need to rally the forces, the team, and get in the best condition as possible? Not just saying we're seven-day Adventists and we have the truth, but we are God's army and we are practicing the truth. Isn't it time? Isn't it high time we awake out of sleep and begin to live 
the message. See, I love to say when I think about the message that God has given to this people, I like to say it's a message and it's a movement. And I want to be part of that movement, and I want to give that message. But it's not just the hearers of the law that will be justified. It's the doers of the law that shall be justified. So we will need the power of the Holy Spirit and to ask Jesus Christ to live out his life in me. That's the power. So in order to invite Jesus into my house, I want to keep the house clean. Right? I don't want to defile my body. I want it clean. So I eat a lot of fresh foods and plant foods. There's 90 fruit trees on our property. We have beautiful gardens. We got pure water. We got an ozone spa. We got a swimming pool. You know, we take people on walks in the vineyards. We stretch them under the eucalyptus trees that are very powerful healers for the lungs. That beautiful. So it's all laid out. And guess what? I was a, raised a Roman Catholic, an altar boy. <laughs> My family's all Roman Catholic. I went to UC Davis. I wanted to be a lawyer. But God didn't see that I was going to become an attorney. I left UC Davis atheist. I didn't believe in God anymore. I was smoking dope, drinking alcohol. I was living the worst life when God grabbed me. That powerful? And so, you know, he who has been forgiven much loves much. And so I love the dear Lord. And he grabbed me and he put his spirit within my mouth and he said, Proclaim my message and fit my people for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, we are to be forerunners of John the Baptist. Volume one of the testimonies 321 says that our message must be more pointed than that of John the Baptist. And John was to prepare his people for the coming of the Lord. And I want to be here to prepare our people to prepare the world for the coming of the Lord. But we're not prepared. The world's passing us by. This health message, it's everywhere. You know, I went and ate at some fine places while I've been here. Very healthy food. I walked into... What's it called? Spirals again. I've been there three times in three days. I walked in today, and there was a, a very, um, you know, they're pretty crowded, and I'm sitting there, and there was a, a, a woman sitting at a table waiting. I don't know if she's waiting to be see, seated. She was an African-American woman. And she looked at me, and she said, hello. And I said, how are you? And she goes, I'm fine. And, and I said, yeah, I just came from California and I'm you know I'm here in Texas and she said why why, why are you here what are you doing and I said oh, I give health lectures and put it with the Bible she goes you do huh she goes are you seven-day Adventist I said yes she goes so am I and my father does health lectures she told me his name dr. so-and-so and he's Manchester Church or Mayf yeah he's doing some health lectures there she goes you sound like my dad you're doing health. What's your ministry name? She wrote it down. What's your name? She wrote it down. And I looked at her. I said, bless you. Have a nice day. She goes, thank you. She recognized it. You Adventist, you look healthy. You're in a healthy place. What are you doing here? Isn't that beautiful? And I think God's people should be a peculiar people. And we should live our teaching. And we should be... I think, some of the healthiest people on the face of the earth. How about that? Anybody interested in getting really healthy? You know, you want to do that? Raise your hand. You want to get healthy this weekend? You want to get motivated this weekend? You willing to make changes? You're going to find in my presentations, there's three things that I point out. When you're going to do a health program, let's keep it simple. But it's going to involve change and responsibility. See, we're going to have a simple program. But you got to make the changes. And all responsibility is on you. I cannot do it for you. You're going to have to do it yourself. What do you say? You ready for it? You ready to take that ride, that journey 
to get into the best condition as possible and study our Bibles while we get in the best condition as possible. Not just read our Bibles, but study our Bibles. Because I want to tell you, the end of all things is at hand. And we better be in the place where God wants us to be at this time. I'm going to say a prayer. Tomorrow begins speaking at 11 o'clock, right? And we're going to speak all day long. <laughs> all day long <laughs> and then sunday as well all right so i'm going to close with a prayer and i hope to see you all here is everyone planning to come tomorrow at 11. how many are going to bring some friends with them yeah there you go all right let's pray loving father i thank you for this evening i thank you for your health message i thank you for the gospel i thank you that you have provided for us instruction that we can be specimens of health on this earth. You've also provided for us your son, who paid the price for our sins on the cross of Calvary, that when we look to that blood that was shed on Calvary by faith, we can be forgiven for the sins that we have committed in this world. So Lord, thank you for the gifts that you have given us of health, and salvation may we father make it our our great desire to have life and life more abundantly so bless us throughout this week and may your holy spirit be with us all is my prayer in jesus name amen god bless you